Okay, so I'm going to go over how to create a quiz in my math lab. Um, again, um, for the 050 class, you should be able to have enough time to do these in class, but if you do want to put a couple quizzes online, um, this is the process that you'd take to do that. Um, you want to go to my math lab and get signed in, and then click on your course. and then you want to go to assignment manager and then you want to go to create a quiz um, I'll just call this test or we'll just call it quiz one go ahead and click next alright um, and then the chapter you'll pick is based off it's they they align with the chapters that are in the course notes so um, you're probably either in chapter 10 or 11 I'll just pretend I'm in chapter 10 and if you want to put a couple questions on order of operations you just go through here and you can scroll through the different questions um, and decide which ones you want to pick um, I'll just place a few of them and then after you get those added whenever you click add you see they populate in this list you go ahead and click next you pick the time it's available the date it's due um, partial credit um, you don't really want to require a password um, also I would not limit the or I would limit the number of attempts to one or two um, definitely you want to expect them to complete the quizzes once that uh, session. If attempt is interrupted, students may re-access. Um, I always change this to if the attempt is interrupted, instructors must enable ac access. Um, that way that um, they can't just close the quiz and walk away. Um, set a time limit to it. We usually do 30 to 35 minutes. Again, you can make this five or ten questions depending on how long, what the different material is. If it's a word problem or something like that. Um, show the time remaining during quiz. Uh, it's up to you if you want to scramble. The, um, and then quiz summary shows the quiz score and question results. Um, this is up to you. If you want to show the quiz score only so that it, the students can only see the grade, it's again, that's up to you. Um, all right, and then you just would go ahead and click Save and Assign. And there it is right there. So hopefully that helps. Again, I didn't set a due date, but you would set the start and the due date and all that stuff. So let me know if you have any other questions.